Hello guys, this is Reed from Bomberito St. Peter's Volkswagen in St. Louis. Today I'm bringing you a 2023 Volkswagen Atlas SEL R-Line Black Edition 4 Motion V6. This particular one is deep black pearl effect on the exterior with Titan black leather interior. It features keyless entry on all four doors, black accents, blacked out grille, double hockey sticks on the LED running lights here, uh, which means you have adaptive front steering and light assist, your automatic high beams and low beams. The R-Line badge right here, the Volkswagen logo right here in the middle, blacked out air intakes on the bottom here, uh, finished in gloss black. It's actually two shades of black there. You can't see to really tell the difference on a black car if this were gray or white or silver or blue, you'd be able to see the difference or even red. Um, so look at my other videos with the other colors and you'll see the differences there. Body colored paint below the black accent line right here. Also blacked out window surrounds, black roof rails right there. Uh, and then also you have the 20 inch black alloy wheels. The twin five spoke alloy wheels. Body colored paint on the bottom of the bumper as well. And then you have full quad full exhaust tips down here at the base that are also blacked out. A 5,000 pound tow hitch, all of that below the oversized reflector. There's a seven pin adapter included on the base there. It says Atlas and silver there, one of the only places you'll get any kind of chrome on a car other than the logo there. The blacked out silver band here. This normally is silver. It's blacked out here on the SEO black. And then also it says SEL V6 in silver over here and then four motion badge over here, which means all wheel drive. This is just a sharp, sharp car. Black mirror caps as well, but since the car is black, they match again. Uh, and then the black R logo right here, right there on the door. Let's take a look inside. Quartzite gray right here double uh, sorry triple contrast stitch band right here in the door inset the arm pad right here is trimmed out in quartzite gray as well it's a leatherette silver tips on the window switches and knobs and then down here to that power lift gate i can lift up and open that guy right there and then to close it i can also lift up and hold so i can complete contactless pickup just like that from not getting out of the driver's seat down here stainless steel scuff plate right here three seat memory right here power lumbar right here forward and back up and down handled here a seat back adjust is handled right here double contrast stitch in the bolster of the seat that goes up the side here drops down to one right behind the shoulders here and then a double contrast stitch on the adjustable headrest manually adjusted headrest here with that button double contrast stitch on the arm pad right here as well there's a look through this one has captain's chairs so you've got the two seats there two car seat hookups on each seat right there and then the third row seats which you can see back there one of the headrests is up one of them is down those are adjustable as well as we go to climb in here you'll notice Volkswagen's digital cockpit right there you do also get nav on this one I'm gonna go ahead and move it over to the screen over there so you can see what I'm talking about on these screens it pops up over here you have a dial screen then you also have a, a wide screen here and then a crop screen and you can adjust what is shown in the display there I've got videos on that too and then there is your temperature gauge there fuel gauge all the way off to the right as you consume fuel these little bars disappear right here a leather wrapped flat bottom steering wheel with a splash of uh, piano black down at the base with flat silver spokes for the steering wheel right here it's adjustable so I can pull out push in raise it lower it lock it where I want and set it and then I do also have cruise control right here, travel assist features right here, volume control here, and then over here on this side, I have song skip, skip and preset skip. Over here on the tip, right there, that's the button to bring up lane assist. I can hit that right here just by hitting okay. And then also I can arrow down. Uh, I need to turn on cruise control so I can turn it on here. It defaults to adaptive cruise control, that's what ACC is, or regular cruise control, good old fashioned cruise control where it just mashes on the gas continuously to get to a speed, um, and you brake, and then reset or resume. Uh, then you have side assist, rear traffic alert, and then uh, front assist as well on this one. And you just push the button here to exit out of that. It's a uh, heated steering wheel as well. The heated steering wheel icons up there and this being an r-line of course it has the r-line badge here with that splash of piano black there but you do get this sport grip on a steering wheel at nine and three as well 
automatic headlights with poor weather lights I can pull out on that guy right there that lights that up right there that's my poor weather lights they replace fogs and this does override the automatic on off nature of the lights so you want to push that back in when you're done with them that way it'll resume auto on off coin box for storage down there you can also get a pair of sunglasses in there you have a storage bin up here you can put sunglasses up there too but they're gonna move around uh, especially if you drive a little more aggressively they're gonna be all over the place then you do also have this uh, auto dimming home link mirror right here with three door garage door memory a Bluetooth button here as well and then the digital compass right there on the edgeless mirror and I have a vanity mirror on each side with a uh, LED light above for both driver and passenger there and then up here a light colored headliner light gray uh, that hides the sunlight coming through the sunroof and I just push this button right here to open that guy up and then I can push this slider right here and that opens the sun the sun the sun uh, roof this pane of glass stacks on top of that one back there the glass is tinted and then there's also this pop-up windscreen right here there's a look at that carbon fiber finish on a dash it continues over here from the door across to this side and then over there as well the radio is an am fm and satellite radio you get uh, gesture control with this guy too as long as you see that little hand icon right there you can wave your hand in front of it that's pretty cool and now you do also get app connect which allows you to do android auto apple carplay or mirror link wirelessly on a system and then you do have a wireless charge pad down here as well so you can charge most phones through the case down here unless you're using an otter box or a case with a pop socket on it two USB-C connections here that are also backlit so you can see them at night if you're trying to plug in and a 12 volt charger port right here heated seats for both driver and passenger they start on high then medium then low then off just like that on both sides your vent setups are in the middle and you can also hit the menu button here which brings up on the screen I want to go ahead and close the sunroof here so you can see air care demonstrated here I'm going to close that sunshade too to cut down on the glare but this guy right here also does air care air care is your air filtration system so the sunroof is closed so that you're going to see a little blue line it expands here if a windows open or sunroof is open that's not going to activate for you but it's scrubbing the air before it circulates it in the cabin you do also uh, get with all-wheel drive here you're going to get a snow mode you also get a regular road mode with eco normal sport and custom and if you enjoy putting fingerprints on it you're just going to keep hitting these and changing it around but you can also push this button right here and change them without doing fingerprints on the screen um, then you do also get um, off-road and off-road custom off-road custom is going to allow you to tweak things turn things on and off change the uh, pr the performance of them the hill descent control on and off hill start assist on and off park assist on and off uh, and then um, then you have uh, all-wheel drive, normal and off-road, and then st normal and sport for those guys there. I'm going to go ahead and turn it back to the roadway here. I do also have this button right here, which brings up my rear-view camera. As long as I'm stationary, that this button turns off the park pilot, which is the beeps and the uh, bumpers front and rear. And also, it does give you this icon here to show you when you're close to an object. And it does give you the option to change your camera view here, too. So you got a trailer view, a fisheye view. And then there's your regular view right there and just by pushing that button again it's reactivated and it's back to it's back to normal um, that backup camera though I can put it in reverse and also get that trajectory steering turn the wheel left turn the wheel right yellow line moves accordingly the green line stays put the red line signifies where your bumper is storage bin right here nice and deep you can get a medium-sized person here there's another USB-C in here so you got a total of three up front piano black for around the cup holders and what have you right here and the passenger seat is power power forward and back up and down right there and then in the glove box here there's your manuals right there uh, and then let's take a look at the back row or the middle row going to the back there's a look at your alloy wheels right there this one comes in at 52 529 extras on this one include 695 for the second row captain's chairs 456 for the atlas protection package which gives you monster mats trunk liner VW cargo blocks uh, luggage net for the cargo area 405 for the auto dimming home link mirror with a four-year subscription included 235 bucks for um, uh, prepaid maintenance so up to 30,000 miles 230 bucks for a privacy cover uh, luggage uh, sorry logo puddle lights 
230 bucks, a bumper dildo protection plate for the rear, uh, 173, trailer hitch extras, 170, 1295 for destination, bringing you that 52529. Lots of room back here in the back, captain's chair set up here. So car seat hookups there and also here, a fold down armrest in the middle. There's a little handle here that adjusts, you just, I'm sorry, a little button here that you push to adjust where the handle stops and locks at or the armrest stops and locks at. There's a look at the uh, climate control back here for the passengers here. You can also lock it out up front. You do also have uh, buttons down here as well. And then you have two more USB-Cs here and a three-prong plug-in right there. There's your arm pad right there and armrest. Instrument cluster right there. I look up where that giant panoramic sunroof is. Very nice. There's also a sunshade in each of the windows for the Atlas back here. Let's take a look at the rear hatch. <clears throat> There's a look at those alloy wheels again. Right back here between the T and the L is how you open the hatch there. That's where your little switch is. And here's a look through from the back to the front. This headrest is all the way up. I'm gonna push down on it with my camera here and let's see if I can get it to do it. There we go. Push that down there. So that's adjustable. There's a locking tab down there that you'll have to push to get it down if it's all the way up. Your C-pillar vents right there and then the vents in the middle right there. These seats will fold down for more cargo space and then those seats will fold down as well so you have cargo space all the way up to the back of those two seats R rubber mat kit right here the rubber the uh monster mats i should say and then underneath the floor here we'll lift up right here there's your trailer hitch extra or accessory bag there the tow hitch cover luggage net right there uh and then the hitch and ball are right here and the cargo blocks are down here as well and then the privacy cover is all nested down here, so it shows you a little bit of storage here. Underneath all of this stuff here, you can store it in a different place, or once you install it, you get access to this guy right here, pull the pin and unscrew that, pull out the floor and your spare tire is underneath right there. The jack apparatus is off to the side here. There's a bag hook on this side over here, a 12 volt charger port over here, recessed trunk light on each side, it's an incandescent bulb. The pull seats up, you just pull this Velcro strap right here and pull that seat up in place and make sure that little red cylinder comes out of the way. There you go right there. Pull up on this side as well. This car comes with a four year, 50,000 mile bumper to bumper warranty on it from Volkswagen. Four years, 50,000 miles and includes two years of free maintenance. I'm sorry, three years of free maintenance. And we're gonna give you an additional three years of free maintenance if you buy from me and you come to my dealership for that 40, 50 and 60,000 mile oil change. That's a requirement for those last three oil changes. I'll also give you a 10 year, 200,000 mile nationwide engine and powertrain warranty free of charge. If you're interested in this car, give me a call, 636-290-4257. I'm on TikTok, YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at Resales Cars. Thanks a lot, guys. Stay safe, stay healthy, have a great day.